when you're ready. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> I was pretending that the microphone was lipstick and I, I was <laughs> I know, it applying was, it to my lips. Oh, I, I saw I saw it was riveting podcast uh, material. Information absolutely. exploding out of my face as we speak. Hey, everybody, it's The Bright Side with Mikey and Rachel. I'm Rachel. I am Mikey. And this is the podcast where we talk about Lindy Hop, our opinions, and basically whatever else we feel like it. And, and welcome back to us. After we are back from our hiatus. Yeah. A, a hiatus, if you will. Is, I, I was really, really happy that, that, that I spell check that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how do you spell hiatus? Is it hot anus? <laughs> oh, God. It's exactly how it looks. Hiatus. To, see, here's the thing. With you, you have a very smart little pinhead. I have a very dumb big rockhead. Big rockhead. <laughs> You've Just seen me. Big we, old when we're, empty head. You know when we're working at, at like a dance event and you're like, we're taking names and, and I'm hearing it and I'm trying to type it in and I feel like, I'm like, I don't. Remember the alphabets, and you're like it's a a e i a e i. You'll what like repeat it like three or four times. A B. Okay, what comes after B? D. Seven. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look right. So yeah, we're back that from our, our, look right. our short hiatus, which was really nice actually, because uh, I was doing so much craziness and and so and were you. I was doing so much craziness. Yeah, yeah, so it actually made sense that we can we couldn't meet up. And the one time we yeah. did, the internet was so bad that we could we couldn't record. It was broke. Yeah. The the internet was broke. So let's talk about everything that's gone on in this past month. Let's oh, do a catch up. Oh man, I mean, this this episode is going to be so funny. All I got to say is I'm just I'm just glad that like the top news story in my in my Facebook feed is not about Trump this time, like for the past week. Oh yes, and it we'll, is so relieving. And we will get into that in a minute. I mean, relieving and not at the same time, but we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah. So you had family over. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, let's back up. So well, Don't okay. Tell me no, what we can. Do. No, we can. We can talk. We can talk about family first. Yeah. So my parents <laughs> came into town, and. Uh, we went to San Diego for the weekend and it was, I, it was like, (laughs) (laughs) it was like like a thing. Like, it was, I, here's, here's the thing about my relationship with my parents. Thank God they don't listen to this because they would be so upset. Uh, I, uh, they probably think that our relationship is a lot better than what I think our relationship is, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, Yeah, of course. Um, my mom just drove me up the wall all weekend <laughs> long. I was ready to kill myself. Oh my god, that sounds hilarious. She was just being such a negative Nancy. Oh no. Uh, like, I I don't want to like get too much into it because it's just such a like I could talk for hours about it. But it was we went to San Diego. I didn't like we got an Airbnb, but I like didn't double check like the neighborhood and where we were staying. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, we got like a little cottage right next to the beach. It's going to be super awesome. And I was like, it looks good to me. But we got there and it's kind of like it's basically like the Venice Beach of San Diego. Uh Oh, it's it's loud. It's super touristy. There's like strange activity going on it's a little run down <laughs> strange activity you mean drug strange sales? activity yeah like drugs and oh, stuff okay, okay. It, and it, it's like and when you uh, say strange activity it could be like anything between strange like, activity like kids just playing in the street at like you know one or two o'clock in the morning or like drug deals going wrong <laughs> yeah yeah well there weren't drug deals going wrong but there were drug deals there going was like a lot of right. homelessness, <laughs> probably going right. I mean, I didn't see any cops or anything. Uh, there was like a roller coaster that was like right outside of our window. Uh-huh. And so we would hear people screaming all night long as they like, would go down uh, the the hill. Yeah. <laughs> I, what, do you, what do you call that part of the roller coaster? The drop. The drop. Yeah, it's like when the beat drops, babe. Come on. When the, when the, dr- when the beat drops, babe. Babe, babe, just babe, come on. I mean, seriously. But I, you, so, you know, you know, you, that just get, that gives me an idea. Like, I wish we should we should go and like do a podcast at like Disneyland or like Six Flags, just so we can have that in the background. 
and oh relive that God. moment for you. Like, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> I think that I, would be amazing. I mean, it was like it was fine for me, but my mom did not like it. You know, it was oh, it was fine no. for like young people, but my mom's like old. She she didn't understand that an Airbnb isn't the same as a hotel, and so she was expecting amenities. Y- yes, exactly. She was expecting amenities, and there were none. <laughs> anyway, there was towels. There were there was a towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rage! I'm so sorry. But uh, so that fine. was San Diego. Was there anything else? Like I thought you guys went to other things. No. Uh no, no. Well, we were supposed <laughs> to go to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> we we were originally planning on going to Disneyland the first day that they got in, but then we decided to cancel that because it was going to be like the schedule was going to be too tight. So we just wait, wait. Did you guys go to the Super Bloom at all? The what? The Super Bloom. What's that? The like because it was raining and crazy and all this stuff like up in Northern California and like uh, uh, like in San Bernardino and I think in in San Diego. Like there was like this huge bloom of like wildflowers and it like spread for like acres and acres. Uh, we you didn't go see the super bloom, but we saw like parts of it probably because there were like hills yeah. of purple flowers yeah. and yeah. yellow. Fl- and there, it's going on in L.A. too. Like yeah. there's this whole section off of the five yeah. when I drive home from work. It's just like purple all the way across it's incredible yeah, i've never and, seen and, anything and like it that's what i'm saying like they're calling it super bloom so like everybody i've been watching like instagram and like a ton of people are going out there and taking pictures it's like it, it's Hashtag photographer super heaven. super bloom that's what it's it is super bloom like babe. Here, here take out your phone babe, take out your phone right super now super bloom listen babe all right take out your phone listen, right now babe. go to instagram take out your phone and go to super get bloom on search. insta search insta bloom search right <laughs> Uh, that's probably a hashtag too. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Okie dokie. Oh, you're so, so right though. You're so right though. Like that probably is Insta Bloom. I'm pretty sure. But go for Super, Super Bloom. Super Bloom. Super Bloom. Yeah, man. Uh, it was like all over the place, all over California because of all the crazy rains we got. So like yeah. the land is fertile. You must the grow. The land is very fertile. Yeah, you must it's grow incredible. The flowers. Yeah, it, it, it like, looks. It looks awesome. It's yeah, these colors, pictures are incredible. Yeah, it's colors you don't really get over here. You get them, I feel like, in the East Coast, like red leaves and like burning oh, red yeah. of like awesomeness. And But like we, we got it here in, in California. I think that was very special. Yeah, these pictures are gorgeous. I would have. Um, I, I was I was telling Nikki about it the other day, and I was like, did you go? And she's like, no, we saw it a little bit in San Diego, but, and we didn't stop. And I was like, oh, like a photographer dream. I know. I know. Uh, anyway, that's like the least exciting part of everything that I have to talk about. What else? What else do you have to talk about? Okay. So I uh, got an audition for a commercial. Cue a studio audience screaming, yay! Yay! Oh, my God! Yay! And I got cast in the commercial. Oh, the audience just got crazy. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> and after I got <laughs> cast in the commercial... My agent decided to take me on theatrically as well. So hold a lot up, of time times out. When you have an agent. Yeah, I have an agent. Oh, look at you! I told you oh, about that, right? No, no you I didn't. told you. No, you I, to- didn't. I said it on the podcast. No, yeah, I have an agent. Oh, you have I got an, an agent. agent. What's his name? No, I, I did. Her name is Tiana. Tiana. Oh, and she's like, her name is Tiana. Tiana, the agent. She, she she's like. Like, does not take any shit. We'll tell you how it is. Uh, like, no, no sugarcoating anything. Um, oh, that's awesome. I just, like, I just had this image of, like, on a gas tire as uh, as her. Just, like, fucking, just, like, fucking <laughs> dropping f- fucking F-bombs every fucking minute. Uh, she probably does when she's not working. I, awesome. I can only imagine. So, okay, so I got an agent. And a lot Tiana. of times when you, ti- Tiana, thank you. A lot of times when you get an agent, they just want to take you on commercially because it's like, lo- it's low risk. Right. Because commercial acting is like not real acting. And you mean but like commercials, like commercials like on TV and stuff? Yeah, like commercials on okay. TV. Okay, okay, cool. And so, um, and so after I booked the commercial, she sends me an email 
She just writes it in like the the headline or the title subject. of the email. She does yeah, the subject. She doesn't even write anything in the body. She goes, I'm taking you on theatrically. And I was like, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the choice. <laughs> did you did you write it back in the subject line as well? That would have been hilarious. No, that would have been hilarious though. I'm sure she wouldn't have found it hilariously though. Like <laughs> she so she took me on theatrically. Um, and which is extremely exciting. Which and means I'm what? Absolutely. It means that she's going to now represent me, uh, for like TV and movies and like submit me for that kind of stuff. Oh shit. That's dope. That's dope. Oh, question. Know. Question. Yes. There's this, there's yes. this, there's this girl. Yes, I, Mikey. There's, there's this girl. I, uh, I question, question the front row question. Yes. Question. Mikey. Thank you. Uh, 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 I That's not a question. I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah. There's this girl I follow on Instagram and 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 YouTube, and I think she might have been part of your uh, UCB class. Who is she? Ava Gordy. No. Tall, tall, short hair. She's not in any of my classes. Fuck. I was like, Ooh, I wonder if Rachel knows her. She's really pretty and she's really funny. I don't know her. I, I don't know I, her, but I'm sure I, I could look her up on UCB. The, yeah. And and the thing the thing was is like I think one of the things you posted on Instagram, you're like, hey, with like group picture is like, hey, we just did a show. It's so awesome. Insta glory. You know, like Yeah. <laughs> Cause that well, sounds like you. Uh, that sounds like you. I've never used Insta Glory. See? Now you're gonna use it. Um <laughs> Uh, but yeah. I, I I saw that and then like uh, like a couple minutes later I saw her post about that too and I was like what what maybe she was just at the oh, show maybe she was just she at the show. she could have been another show or like another class or something yeah but the but the um, funny thing is is like it's like she's like super funny and I was like oh my god I would have loved to see her oh, and Rachel or something oh my god that sounds amazing no yeah. anyways sorry continue um, anyways okay so I got in the commercial I got I'm being represented theatrically as well now, which is super awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, what else is happening? Oh, I got accepted into the advanced study program at the Upright Citizens Brigade. And I have two auditions that I have to do as soon as we get off of recording today. That is so fucking awesome. I know you've been like painstakingly like going after this for like the last I guess the year now. Three weeks. No, like I feel. I feel like I feel like you. You've been telling me that it's like ever since like New Year's and like a little bit before. Like yeah. this is what you want to be doing, and you're like, I don't know if I should pull the trigger. Like I don't know if I should do. And I, I was trying to encourage you as best as I could. Like, go yeah. f- go fucking go for it. Like you seem that's exactly like, to know what you, you want to do. So like just fucking do it. And and it seemed like you've been really pushing yourself. Even to the point I don't know if I should say this out loud is canceling a fucking vacation, which I'm upset for. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> I I think I talked about it in the last podcast. No, you but didn't. I didn't in we, the last episode. No, we talked about it a little bit, like when we when we saw each other and we couldn't record, but we didn't. Really, oh, yeah. So okay, here's the thing, you guys. I originally had a trip to Hawaii planned. Brett and I have been feeling like super run down and ragged, mm. and we and we haven't been on a vacation since we got married mm-hmm. four years ago. Seriously, and so. And so we were like, okay, we just need to take like a week off for ourselves. Absolutely. And we found a good deal and we were like, okay, let's go to, we'll just go to Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And then, so then I auditioned for the commercial and I get the call back and it's like the week of like, it was on like a Tuesday that I got the call back and we were supposed to leave on Saturday for the trip. I didn't hear back. As to whether or not I got the part until Friday night at 6 p.m. That's fucking insane. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, seriously. Uh, but the good news is that we've rebooked our trip. And Brett, it turns out Brett knows someone. He like went to school with this girl who works at a fancy resort in Ooh. Maui. And she's given us the friends and family discount. That's so we're getting awesome. like a really good deal on Dude. a hotel. And she's like giving us all the hookups. Dude, the the fucking universe is like opening its arms to you guys. I love it. I love it. It couldn't happen oh with my two God. awesome people. So many. It's like so many good things have been happening. It's well, you guys I, like it's crazy. You guys have really been working off, working your ass off like crazy. We've been working really hard. I know. I We've could been tell. working really, really hard. I could tell. I could tell. It's it's, <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's that's something that that like encourages me because it makes me feel like I like if I sit in my ass for too long, I'm like. Ugh. 
you know so the, the, the last couple the last well i mean like you guys and a couple other friends for sure but like definitely you guys because I'm, I'm always like looking to see other people and go like oh, i want to do that too like what do i need to do like <laughs> i want to do that too i want to do that too you guys do that too, do that too. <laughs> so like yeah so like lately lately like i've been like so the last couple of days like i've been trying to like get up and do stuff like yesterday I, I in my place in Madrid. I'm in Madrid, of course. I always say that I'm in Madrid. And <laughs> I, I'm in Madrid <laughs> again. Uh, <laughs> like I cleaned up the whole house. Like I, I did my laundry. I cleaned the kitchen. I cleaned my bathroom. I like dusted my room. I va- I uh, swept and vacuumed the whole house. Like I was like, yeah. I feel great. And then like sat down and like did some computer work. And I was like feeling great. And I like went to bed by like eleven. It was That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And this morning. This morning I woke up and we were supposed to do a podcast, but we didn't. So that's okay. And <laughs> <laughs> which is actually oh, better. Oh, God, I know. No, which is actually oh. totally, totally, totally better. Because I, I, I just like laid in bed for another hour and like just like relaxed, got up and then like uh, started doing this research for this lecture. So I was like, great. That means I have more time. And then I was supposed to, I was supposed to do this like commercial thing in Spain uh, I was supposed to like dance for this like soda or something. I'm not even sure what the fuck I was supposed <laughs> to be doing. Dancing for a soda. I mean, you dan- better than dancing for peanuts? Like, <laughs> I mean, I got peanuts over here. Yeah, I'd rather have some gas than some peanuts. Uh, <laughs> that sounded like I said <laughs> penis, but uh, I mean, that too. It did. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, yeah, I was supposed to do that today at like three, and then like they called us around like one. They're like, hey, they canceled us. I was like, awesome that means oh. i have like two more hours to, to like do a couple research and then like like uh uh cook myself some dinner and relax and then do classes, yeah do classes tonight which i did and i came back for and yeah so now i'm here talking to you but uh oh my god i i have i have another story i have to tell you real quick which is like probably the best story of all the stories that i have oh no that i totally forgot about go ahead okay so there are two lindy hoppers in the scene sam and augie and their oh, birthdays. No, I their know exactly lie. what you're talking about. <laughs> their birthdays lie within like this three or four days of each other. Fucking horrible. <laughs> you don't even. You don't even know. You don't even know. So they oh they have every year they have a barbecue at this person's house and they invite like forty or fifty people yeah. and they just barbecue stuff all night long and um, make drinks and make and drinks and and we eat portos which is like this delicious uh, bakery. Yeah. And so we go to the party on Saturday. It was two Saturdays ago. Mm-hmm. Party was great. We had a really fun time. Sunday is great. I go to work. Everything's fine. And Monday at 4 a.m., I wake up and I'm like, huh, my stomach feels <laughs> kind of funny. And uh. just, just, <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little disclaimer out there. It's gonna get graphic. Oh, I can't I, wait. It sounds so the, horrible. I can't wait I to go hear to the it. bathroom and I'm like, have some diarrhea. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. I must have eaten something strange. You know what's funny? As soon as you said diarrhea, everybody who's listening probably heard that sound, that special sound that comes out. That that's special sound. <laughs> that only is like, you're like, oh shit. Like, literally, like, oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> And so I go back to bed, but I, like, can't fall back asleep. And so then I get up, like, 45 minutes later to get up to go to work. Dun, dun, dun. And, and I'm like, huh, I still feel funny. <laughs> and I'm, like, about to get into the shower. And then I'm like, nope, just kidding. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> throw up like I haven't thrown up in years. Like the and college try kind of throw up. Yeah. Like, oh, it was crazy. Oh I call my boss. I call in sick. And I can't fall back to sleep because now I'm, like, starting to feel a lot more nauseous. <laughs> I get on Facebook, and at this point, it's, like, 5, 5.15 in the morning. Yeah. And there's, like, three or four people who are posting, and they're, like, uh, all people who have gone to the party. They're, like, I think I have food poisoning. I have food poisoning. And I was, like, yeah, I have food poisoning, too. Like, I never throw up. Oh I have a steel God. stomach. and I don't think that's true, but that's fine. And so <laughs> then, like, I'm like, okay, maybe I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't know. And then from there, things go really downhill. Uh-oh. I'm like, you know, you know the scene in The Shining where the elevator doors open and the blood comes out? 
It yes. was like that, yeah. except for my face. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was like that, yeah, yeah. except for my ass. Oh, yeah, totally. And, <laughs> and I was sick as a dog. I get online like an hour later. There's now like a dozen people posting that they're sick. And I'm like continuing to get sicker and sicker. I get on like another hour later. It's now like 20 people who are sick. See, here's the and thing. And then like here's two hours after that is 30 people. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like this was bound to happen. I feel like when I first started seeing people start to post about this, I was like, oh, fuck. Augie pulled off the best practical joke of all time. Because <laughs> I don't know if you know Neurovirus this. Neurovirus 2017. Because yeah, Augie, Augie is the practical choker. Like he is oh, my God. Like, he's like, a, un, like not a lot of people know, but like I was like, oh, my God. Did he really just like poison his whole family or like his whole group oh of friends? Oh, God. <laughs> well, it turned out to be neurovirus, which is like a, a virus that runs through your body very quickly, like, makes you throw up and have diarrhea. And it's like 24 hours and then it's done. And uh, like in all honesty... I was very impressed with how efficient the sickness was. Like, really, really took, like, every ounce out of me. It was, like, very <laughs> proficient at what it was doing. And uh, I was also very amused that I was, like, throwing up and having diarrhea at the same time, even though I felt terrible. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, people have been saying that for years. I'm like, um, viruses are very uh, efficient, aren't they? I'm like, yeah, they I really wish I, are. I just got one the other day and it went in and out of me. Like, it was so great. Literally, like, in and out <laughs> and on its way. And and it was fun to have, like, it w like, everybody was posting all day long, like, this is what I'm doing to help combat the virus. This is what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So it was like a whole support group on Facebook. 30 people got sick. We should have called 30. it like, like the, the, the Sam Denick. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I created a hashtag which everybody's using now called mass exodus 2017 oh god <laughs> you know there's a, you know there's you know there's a there's a gif of uh of that that scene the shining you should have just been posting that <gasps> oh my god oh i didn't even think about that oh, god. that's where my mind first goes to before hashtags is gifs and then hashtags jeez Oh my! I was well, like too sick at the. I mean, I was still trying to have a sense of humor, but. Well, Rachel, you always have a sense of humor. It's what's <laughs> it's good about you. But uh, thank <sighs> God you didn't go into more like further detail about how horrible this was. I'm sure. I'm sure I everybody mean, else has a <laughs> very equivalent story to what you just uh, went through. But I I was so sick that Brett had to come home early, and he came home to take care of me, and I was like lying on the bathroom floor. With using my sweatshirt as a pillow, and I was like Britney Spears style, like mascara running down my face. My face was totally gray. My hair was like all over the place. I was such a mess. I should have taken a picture because it would have been so brilliant to share with everybody now how disgusting I looked. Ah. Uh. But the that moment been, is if, gone. If you had taken a picture, I would have posted that as our profile pic I, <laughs> on the right side. I, this I is the honestly, reason why we're not like, on right now. I, <laughs> I thought about I really did think about it. I was like, should I take a picture right now? And I was like, nah, I can't really move, so I'll just keep laying here instead. Oh, my God. A quick, uh, <sighs> quick, quick little shout out to, uh, to James McGraw for posting on uh, our... Uh, our Facebook page, <laughs> when we said we were on hiatus, she's like, he said, where were you? Why did you leave us? Garbaggio. Garbaggio. Because <laughs> I was literally throwing up Garbaggio, James. I am sorry. <laughs> um, but let's talk about you now. You were in Tokyo. Toko -o, -e o in Japan with Pokemon. <laughs> Whoa, I mean, look. Pikachu. Oh look, we're 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 twenty minutes in, and you finally decided to sing. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Um, ah! But yeah, yeah, it was it was in, I was in Tokyo, uh, and and before that I was in the south of Spain, and before that I I was in the south I of was, Spain. I was in where was I before that? I don't remember anymore. It's so hard to keep track. It it was crazy, like. March, it was Inspiration Weekend, then Texas, then Boston, then straight to Madrid, then straight to France, then to Russia, and then I had a week off, and then I was starting to teach classes in Madrid, and then I went to um, 
uh, south of Spain, and then I went to Tokyo for a week and a half, which is awesome. So Tokyo is this thing. Okay, so I, I so Tokyo is a city. It's Tokyo's, in Japan. No, 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 I don't it's, know it's if you like, guys know that. It's like it's like it's like an island. It's so much better than anywhere. Like it's <laughs> there. They're amazing. First off, the people there are very respectful. It's like yeah. New York, but like super clean and super respectful. And but like with all the amenities, as in like all the crazy bars and, and like crazy oh, attractions. Sounds like so much fun. It was amazing. Everything has a sound to it. Every time you make it through the metro, they play this song. Uh, that makes it sound like you just beat a level on like Mario Kart 64. Of course. And and of it makes course. it makes you feel so good about yourself. You're like, fuck it. I did <laughs> it. I did it. I did it. I got to the wrong station, but I fucking did it. Like <laughs> Oh my God. They have little animals like telling you what to do. And like they make the they make up words for like what the sound is. So for instance, yeah. like like if you're if you're uh uh if you have a iced beverage and you have a spoon yeah. in it and you're mixing it. They have it like chugga, 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 like the sound it makes. Oh god! And then like the crashing of silverware is like a ching ching, like and then yeah, and then so they have this one, and I'm gonna let you guess what it what it means. It's called peepa peepa peepa. Do you know what that sound is? Bing bong. No, like that bing bong. No, it's 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 the sound of of the police car. Peepaw, peepaw. <laughs> and it's like this little like that mascot for the police department that has like a little sash and like and like a reflective like belt and he's like little furry and then like he's got a little antenna and his name is Oh Peepaw. my gosh. His name is Peepaw, Peepaw. For the Tokyo police? Yeah. <laughs> that and, is incredible. And he's uh, he's everywhere. He's everywhere telling you what to do and telling you how to be safe and everything. Big like, brother. I mean, little brother. Little brother is really watching little out for you. Little baby brother. And, uh, oh, my God, what else? We went to this place called the Robot Restaurant, which was kind of a letdown because there wasn't that many robots. Like, it was this weird, like, <laughs> yeah. like Were there some... Oh, but there were robots. There were robots at the end. There was like it was like a four thing act where it was like the first one was like this crazy music video. The second one was this like really weird like, oh god, it was like, wor- what's worse than community theater? Uh, children's theater. No, it was senior citizen theater. <laughs> oh. But like trying to be an anime, but trying really, really too hard, and even like, ha ha, I will get you. No, no, ha ha, I will win. Ha ha. I was like, oh, they're even putting the ha ha's in. Like, yeah, it was weird. Really weird. And then the third one was like, was like cool. Like there was, a, I was like, yay, robots, and it was like a Michael Jackson tribute, and I was like, yeah, but it lasted so little. And then the last one was just like a fuck all cavalcade parade shit of robots and like half naked Japanese women, which I was not complaining about, but, but they, I mean, they, they danced their, they danced their ass off. It was, in, it was impressive. That last one, I was like, they should have just done that four times and I would have been very happy. Jeez. But it was like in this small place and oh my God, I'm going to post this stuff on Instagram about it. Cause it's crazy. But I posted like a shit ton of, I took so many pictures and so many Instagram stories and, um, and yeah, like I, I just posted about it like nonstop because it was so amazing out there. Oh, that's so cool. I know. And that was only Tokyo. And you went to Blue Bottle in Tokyo. Yeah, we found it by accident, actually. My coffee company it's where right, I work. It's right. It's real close to. Uh, well, it's like a mi- It's like a mile away from the Harajuku uh, district, which is where like all yeah. these people dress all crazy, crazy. And, oh and well, there's four locations, so I don't know which one that was that you went to. It's it's probably one of the main ones because in that little area, like there was like uh, two other coffee shops like beside it, and then it was on top of like this like super ultra designer uh, uh, st- store, clothing store. Ooh. And then right next to that, there was like this little like uh, co-op of of small trailer type restaurants that were all amazing. We went there twice. Ooh. We went there twice because it was so good. There, I know that there's one in Shinjuku. Yeah, Shinjuku. Is that a place? Yeah, Shinjuku. Yeah, the, we, I think I saw that one on the way out. And then there's another one in Ropungi, which I don't know where that is. No, I don't know where that is either. But the one in Shinjuku. So Shinjuku is really funny because that's the red light district. Okay. 
And, but it's like it's That's awesome. it's the cleanest red light district I've ever seen. It's like the most well kept red light district. Jeez Louise! Yeah, and that was where the robot restaurant robot robot restaurant was. And then like they have this like hotel robot restaurant, robot restaurant, and they had this uh, uh, hotel that is a a Godzilla uh, themed hotel. Really? Yeah. See, here's the thing. Everything you, th- you we might think like that sounds fucking cheesy and like horrible, and like they don't. They, it's awesome. Like, That's the hotel, so crazy. The hotel is really nice, and like they have this huge statue bust uh, on top of the hotel that you can see yeah. Godzilla like creeping over, and you're like, oh my god, this is what it would be like. And it's in Tokyo, and they're so not like hiding it. They're like very proud of it. Wow. Yeah, because wow. I think I think for the most part, like without without Godzilla, like there would be no Japanese media, there would be no Japanese entertainment like sector. Yeah, you know, like that all their fucking movies that made millions and millions of dollars all over the world, like it helped grow their their industry. Wow, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, and and like we went to like the couple of old time places, like so we went to a shrine, a Buddhist shrine, where they were having an actual ceremony, which was really awesome. Yeah, and then we went to uh, the old. The old emperor's like like private shrine, which they opened up, was a, a Shinto shrine where they have like Shinto religion and they have Buddhist religion. Right. Uh, so they have shrine and temple, and and then uh, we went to the palace, which was really cool, really pretty, really open spaces. I, I just like that. There was Wide real open spaces. That's the only part of the song I know because I don't listen to country music. <laughs> I mean, they're all, they're all about that. Just add a beer and why, and why your woman left you, left you, and you got a fucking country song. And you got a hit. You got a country song. <laughs> you got a hit. You got a hit in your hands. Yeah, you got a hit, son. And and what else did we do? Oh, I went to the ramen museum and I made a huge, no. awesome, a, yeah. And it was again sounds really cheesy when you go there. It no, was no, it doesn't sound cheesy. It sounds very ramen. It was, mm. it was, it was two stories below below the the, the surface of the world. And you go in there, <laughs> you go in there, and and it, they made the whole place look like a 1950s like marketplace, and it looks oh my legit God. like the posters and like the music, and and then I went to three ramen places, they were so good, it was oh, the best man. worst idea ever. That sounds so delicious. Oh my God, it was great. God, like I, I could t- go for some ramen right now. It was so. I don't think uh, I'll ever have ramen again because uh, it was so good. Oh, leave it on a high note. Uh, leave it on yeah. a high note. So good. I fucking oh slurped up those God. noodles like it was nobody's business. Ugh. Yeah. Jeez. It was legit. Too legit oh, to quit. <laughs> Too legit to quit. Hi, <laughs> hi. Hey, hey. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. And then I came back to uh, Madrid where it's uh, beautiful, but it, I mean, like. It pales. It's in not the same. Oh no! Yeah. Oh man. It was. It, but uh, oh, you know what happened? <gasps> what happened? While I was in the air over China, Tell me more. North Korea set off a ballistic missile while I was while in the air. Oh my god! And I didn't know. Did until you see I, it? No, until it I, landed, like, I landed. I landed. right I back. Landed, <laughs> I land, yeah, I, I landed in Madrid, and it said, "It's like it's like eleven hours as eleven hours ago." And I was like. 11 hours ago, yeah, I was in the air over China. I was like, holy shit. Because the whole time I was in Japan, I was like, oh, my God. Like, we're real, real, real close to that. Real crazy, close to North Korea. We're real crazy to the crazy people, right? A crazy person over there. And because, and like, the week before I went out there, um, they that was their last test that they tested something, and they stopped the Tokyo Metro. Metro. Whoa. Which is a legit, legit thing. I mean, you've seen the thing. Yeah. They have, they have people that squeeze people into the trains to make sure it can just run on time. Yeah. They stopped it for 10 minutes. Oh, my Jesus. I know. I was, like, trying hard not to think about all these moments. And, and like, Nikki brought up this moment where she was like, they have really bad earthquakes here, don't they? And I was like, Nikki. Yep. We're, like, 10 stories below the ground. Do you really want to bring that up? And she's like, good point. <laughs> Yep, I mean, way worse than California. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, yeah, because then they get tidal waves and shit. And it's it's intense. Yeah. Um, for I mean, like one thing I really learned. <laughs> this sound may sound horrible, but like one thing I learned is Tokyo has been destroyed many many times. It's no wonder they have like this like rich history and sense of of uh, of a uh, past and how to bring it into the present. 
because they've lost it so many times. Yeah. And they've had to rebuild that I see yeah. what, where they have pride in their city. They have pride in their traditions and they have pride. Yeah. In it's their all history. about per- perseverance. Yeah. And where, continuing on. Yeah. It really, it really, really is in this, in this like very, very respectful way. Also their fashion is ridiculous. Off the chizang. <laughs> Off the chizang. Yes, yes, yes. Oh Arigato 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 cool. Well, that was our our month in a nutshell, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's really two good. shells, two shells. Um, so let's jump into the main part of our yeah of our podcasted. So I think what we wanted to do was uh just dive right into the question because it directly relates to what we were going to talk about anyway, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, either way, I mean, we we're going to talk about it and then people were like, "Hey, we want to hear about what you want to say, what you're what you think about it." What this. what you was you going to say? They want us to weigh so, in. They want us to weigh in. We're officially weighing in in pounds and, we'll and kilos and stones. Jose. <laughs> Jose, Jose, Jose. You 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 just I wish, put a I finger w- up. <laughs> I I wish I had a little flag like like flare. Anyway, <laughs> uh <laughs> So the question comes from James C. Jordan, and he says, I would like to get your opinions and thoughts on recent shifts and controversies around changing of the name Jack and Jill comps to something more inclusive to the LGBTQ+. That's the end. So? so yeah, that's the end. That's the end. I, I, it... It sounds like there should be like the word community after that, but that was the end. I mean, it I thought there was just a little bit more to it. I can't period. remember. I couldn't remember. No, I that was it. In front of me. Uh, but that yeah, was it. so so about a week ago, uh, yeah, Rick Rick from Yehudi posted a, 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 an opinion piece on his blog on the blog of uh, or rather, I mean, the website Yehudi, and it's called "Let's Rename the Jack and Jill Contest." Uh, and I mean, it it goes into it's actually a it's actually a good, good article to be fair, and and he he cites a lot of different things, and and he he and it says it in the very top, like it's it's an opinion, yeah, it's an opinion piece, and 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 he I don't he said he didn't mean it to be anything because they just had, they just had a an event in in San Francisco where Rick is from called the Switch. Yeah, I think it was called the switch. Well, basically, the whole weekend was based off of uh, switching roles. If you're a leader, you you take the whole weekend like you are a follow, uh, and you learn to be a follow, and you learn to be a better follow, and you learn the other side, basically, and vice versa for follows to leaders. And and I think they had a lot of like interesting things, and I, and I was really uh, curious about it. So it's really cool that uh, I think his mindset moved over there, and. Uh, and he decided to write this piece, and 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 the thing is, is I feel like this doesn't come across very much on his like Facebook posts or uh, when they used to have like the Yehudi uh, talk show, Swing Nation. Yeah, Rick is I feel super opinionated, and that doesn't make it right or wrong. It just means he's got lots of things to say about lots of different subjects, and he and he feels certain ways. And I feel in some way, and I feel Manu is the same way. And they're both like the kind of leaders of the Yehudi.com thing. And they feel like they have to keep their mouth shut for a lot of things. So I feel they're starting to let that go and being like, this is our opinion. This doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It just means this is what we think of. And, I, and I'm, I'm for that. I'm 100% yeah. for that. Because as long as you're willing to put a topic out there and the way you feel about it means that you want to talk about it, not to say that you are right or point fingers. And I feel like the, the um, I, I feel like his initial blog post was really good about that. Flash forward to like a day later, the whole inter Facebook webs of Lindy Hop community blew like up, blew up, and and I was honestly not a, not uh, expecting that. I wasn't either. Yeah. What What did you think of when you first read about it? Uh, I mean, in all honesty, I read the article yesterday. I like I saw him post it a week ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, uh, I probably know what this is about, and I'm not gonna read it right now. 
I had like a bunch of other stuff going on, and and it was exactly what I thought it was gonna say. Yeah. Look, I I gotta run to an audition. I'll read it I in the car. I gotta go to an audition. I'll, I'll read it in the car. But I mean, if I'll it's read just it later. it's a real short. It's a, I'll read it in the car. I'll read it in the car. Okay. <laughs> I'll read it later. Um, but and and like and then I saw like tons and tons of people posting yeah. about it. And I just, because I hadn't read the original article, I wasn't ready to dive into, like, all of these posts that people were uh, making. And so yeah. it wasn't until a couple of days ago that I really started diving into it and uh, exploring the conversation a little bit more. Like, once it really started getting heated up. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a, it's such a, funny, a funny thing. Like, I knew it was going to blow up, but I didn't think it was going to blow up that big. And, and and have so many uh, polarizing opinions. To be honest, I yeah. th- I thought it was going to be swayed pretty much to one side. Um, I I had a I so had a couple like there was a couple like really poignant ones where I, where I read uh, posts uh, on Facebook and yeah. and some I mean like the one that Andy wrote I thought is always great. I mean, that fucker like he oh he feel so like sometimes I feel like sometimes he just plays like the idiot, but like he is very very good at writing things and and getting his he his, really is. his thoughts out he's very eloquent yeah uh, you're talking about andy reed right yes andy reed andy reed yeah um yeah well he wrote a long post so i don't want to read the whole no, thing no no of course not of course not you guys can go on on they're, they're they're these people we're gonna talk about a little bit uh have public uh profiles so you can go and check them out i encourage anybody to to go out look at it, whether you're for the change or against it or uh, have no opinion about it, I think it's it's good to inform yourself to see what people are thinking out there, and yeah. and uh, whatever happens at the end of this or if there will ever be an end to this, um, I think information and knowing people's opinions or side of this is is really important and crucial uh, because especially in the nowadays like. Like I said at the beginning, it's like it's kind of glad that the, like Trump isn't all about my Facebook feed right now, and this is, and yeah, yeah. it's like uh, someone posted as well, like a, a saying basically like this is so not important, but it's important, yeah. or like it's yeah. so not important, but it's important to somebody, so I'm gonna listen. So what do you think? How do you uh, feel about it? My initial thought was, what do you opine? My my initial thought when I when I read the article last week in, when I was in Tokyo. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to stay away from Facebook for, like, at least two days. Uh, uh, my initial thought was, like, don't change it. That was, yeah. like, the initial thought. And just, just because of, like, well, it's been there for so long. You know, like, the, 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 the things that already go there. But after two days, like, honestly, like, it was in the back of my mind, like, just thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And, and after that, like, every every time I would bring it up in my head, I was like, oh, but then, you know, like, what's the worst thing? If we do change it, you know, nobody, nobody knows it was Jack Kerry, but does, do people even know who was Jack, of Jack Kerry? Do people understand that? Most of the time when people go like, oh, what does this Jack and Jill stand for? Oh, there's, there's this thing, this guy who invented this thing in the 50s and he invented it because he, he really liked the social dance as part of it and he wanted to see people into it. Okay, but who's Jill? Like, that's like the, always the next thing. It's like, yeah. good well, point. Like, yeah. who is Jill? Like, a, a, ambiguous, like, random Jill person. Uh, yeah. But, but, you know, like, I think that's the actual f- the problem. So, like, n- now that I've had lots of time to think about this, like, I feel like the actual problem with this is, like, it, it, is that no one actually knows where the name came from. And, yeah, and this is this is actually a reflection on all of us. Like we 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 love our history. We love the idea that we come from something that was steeped in 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 joy and and escapism and rebellion and amazing American history that is now world history. Uh, but I feel like like people forgot this part of it, and I didn't even know it was from the fifties. I thought it was like a lot later. Yeah. I thought it was like from the eighties. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because well, like Jack Kerry was very influential. Like I thought he was more influential when it came to the '80s and the creation of like West Coast swing community. Um, okay. Uh, which isn't a downer at all. Like at that point, it was still be- being called like street swing or or like you know like uh, West Lin- Lindy Hop from L.A. or like you know L.A. swing. Um, okay. 
anyways, um, but the but the point is 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 that I thought it was a lot. So even I, who I feel like I, I get a good general history from of Lindy Hop, and I feel like yeah, I understand it, and I and I've lived parts of it, and and I got to talk to a lot of these people. I got to know Jack Carey, and, yeah. and his uh, and his widow now Annie Hirsch, who carries on his torch of of, of judging and and. and Making sure the dance is presented in the best way possible. Mostly works in the in the West Coast community, but still. Um, but yeah, like I, I had a, I had a skewed version of it, and the thing is, I saw this. I saw that some people were saying that like Jack Carey and Anne Hirsch had a chance to change it, and they really wanted to, but people didn't want them to change the name, and yeah. that Jack himself was like, "Yeah, change it. Like, why call it that?" You know, like, yeah, and, and and I don't know if that's completely 100 percent true because it, it comes it comes like third hand, you know, right. This person right, was right. saying this person that said it on Facebook said it came from Annie Hirsch. So Annie Hirsch said it from Jack. So third person. So I'm not sure how much we can actually uh, count on that. I've been meaning to reach out to a couple of uh, people in the West Coast community to one to uh check this out and see what their opinion is and two to see uh, if they can get in touch with Annie Hirsch and see what she thinks about it uh, yeah because she's the you know again carrying the torch for for Jack and knowing his opinion would be would be really crucial at this moment to help maybe sway some people or um or relax a couple people you know do you have any suggestions as to what you think it should be renamed to I don't. That's the last thing on my mind. I think. I, I think the first thing is is whether or not it should happen, um, and, and what are the ramifications? Uh, how? What is the deeper uh, thing that we're trying to uh, point out with with the renaming? Well, you know, like what what problems do people see? What problems are people having in our community that? Uh, aren't being addressed that yeah. something like this can blow up so many different ways. Um, I think those are my deeper feelings about it. The name honestly does not care because like when we look about it, like what's the closest thing that we have to that is a strictly or is it a hell's popping contest or is it a battle or is it a jam style contest or is it yeah. a, a fucking partnership or is it a couple or is it a team like the thing is is, is is like we've already have a history of changing the name lindy hop itself was changed jitterbug was changed jive yeah like, like we already have a history of, of this like you, you know like i i, f I feel like the name changing is is part of a sign that the times are changing and we yeah. don't get that luxury as much as like west coast swing does like west coast swing and, and I'm not downing them at all. Like, I think this is something that's very progressive for their dance is that they float with the time, the pop music of the time. Yeah. You know, they're not, they're not fucking jamming out to 1980 songs that much anymore. They're, dan they're jamming to like club hits of like nowadays, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which is really interesting. Yeah. I mean, I mean th know? that in its own self, like is, is a whole nother subject, but I think like with that, they get to change so much, and I'm not saying like we need to, uh, um, you know, mirror that or or like put it up against each other. No, it's just it's just saying like we get a chance here to uh, uh, write our future, and, yeah, and, and and write history, not rewrite history, just writing history. This is just another part of the trail that is Lindy Hop that is being made up now. Like in again, like the last 17 years has been like yeah. the most powerful part of the swing community because it, it grew from this thing that that was only happening in America to all over the world. You know, yeah. like of course it was happened before that too, but like even more so in the last 17 years since 2000. Yeah. And most totally. of that most of that is only due because the the expansion of the internet. Yeah. Um, for sure. For sure. So I mean again, I think the deeper question that we should ask ourselves is is uh what what things aren't being addressed in our community that we could address better and i think you brought this up before we started recording but like you know what is um do we have a problem of of thinking that we're one thing when we might be another 
could you elaborate on that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, so, so what I had said was before we started recording was that I thought that maybe the issue wasn't so much that the name is an issue as that our community has an issue of not, not being as progressive or as welcoming to quote unquote, like alternative types of lifestyles as we want to be Mm -hmm. um and i say that from like an organizing and a teaching perspective because i remember a few times when i was in albuquerque running a dance and people would call me and ask questions about coming to our social dance and they would be like is this a gay friendly community is this a gay friendly dance? And I was at the time I was like, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? But then when those people showed up, they were always so uncomfortable at the dance and they Mm. never came back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, I, I mean, I do think that things are changing now, but I wonder like at the time, if there was anything that I could do to, show these people that we are welcoming to them, even if they're not physically seeing it in that moment. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean, as soon as you said it in that, in that, uh, in that story, what would drive somebody away that wouldn't bring them back? If, if, uh, if a person was asking because they're obviously, they're obviously kind of like wondering and maybe afraid of coming out to something that is it is it is a two person act partner dancing yeah and they go to the dance and all they see is males and females dancing together not male yeah. and males not even one male and male or not even one female and female dancing together you or know, not like, even or not even like females leading males yeah or the or yeah exactly or or even the opposite like that can be very like well maybe this isn't and like and and unfortunately a a lot of people in 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 that uh lgbtq community um have have a lot of hurdles to go go through whether it be physical whether it be emotional whether it be mental like they have a lot of hurdles to go through already and, and, and so when they when they see something that is possibly like an outlet for them, which is exactly what Lindy Hop is, has been historically an outlet, and they go, maybe I can have it there. And then they go there and they're like, never mind, you know, because they're like, yeah. well, maybe it isn't, you know, and they don't even want to take the chance because yeah. they already, they've already been burned maybe once before. And that's unfortunate. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that is a sort of reality. Another Another example that I have is that uh, sometimes when I'm teaching a class, particularly the beginner class, like the f- drop-in class, mm-hmm. uh, there will be, in particular, like a male following, and they'll rotate to another male, and that person is like, I refuse to dance with them. I, r- I refuse to dance with another guy. Yeah, and, that's and so it, weird. And it... And not only has that person become uncomfortable, but the person who is now rotated to them is also uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, and I like, like, uh, and, and I, I, I just think that like that, that's like a symptom of another symptom of the issue. Like when I'm, when I'm teaching a class, I, uh, this might be like a tangent now, but mm-hmm. when I'm teaching a class, and like a couple comes together and they choose to not be in rotation, I usually let them not be in rotation. Like if that's what they want to do, I don't care. Yeah, of course. But but what do you do when a man refuses to dance with another man? Same thing in a competition. What do you do if you're in a Jack and Jill and a man gets rotated to another man and that man doesn't want to dance with them? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, that's that's the that's the very strange part for a lot of people, which is going like, I like, don't understand what what's the difference. Yeah. I mean, like on the one hand, no one should ever have to dance with anyone that they don't want to. Sure. On the other hand, you know, if they're 
taking a class or entering into a competition, they, you know, they're, they're signing up for that risk, I think. And, yeah. and, and maybe they don't know, but if they do know, then they have to accept that that's going to be, uh, that's going to be like one of the things that they're going to have to deal with. I have to deal with. Yeah. I, and, and I, and I bring that up because, um, we were, Brett and I were like talking about this earlier in the week and he had seen a comment that, uh, someone, someone made a comment about like, they didn't think it was necessarily fair to change the name because like, what if like going off on to the competitions, like what if, what if somebody is in the finals and they get partnered up with another guy that's not fair i mean i don't i don't i i know that it's not like directly related to specifically changing the name of jack and jill but i think it like all falls under the same umbrella yeah and and, uh, that but the thing is is like this is where (laughs) this is where we fall into the trap of like of like oh you just asked that person because they're a good dancer i'm like yeah like so it's yeah. it's that, it's the yeah. same thing it's like it's like it's it's if you're going to enter a contest no matter what you identify as as in like leader follow fucking better be good at it <laughs> at least at least for whatever yeah. level i mean that's why we have so many fucking levels for for jack and jills i mean yeah i'm still going to call it jack and well, jills for now i'm not going to i'm i will change it soon but the thing is is like something that i something that i've been seeing recently is that there's a lot of dancers out there who've started entering competitions as, as the opposite role just to challenge themselves yeah they're, they're not absolutely. doing it because they identify that way or they politically lean one way or another they just want to try it out with the other role to see how they do yeah may, i mean yeah for sure but they better be good like you know like <laughs> that's at the, end of, at the end of the day like as as like if i'm thinking like as a judge of any contest i'm just thinking good dancer or bad dancer you know, yeah. like every once in a yeah. while, every once in a while, even like I, I've said it many times on here, like I've been trying and I know I have my own issues where I'm like, I think one way. And then I ask myself again, like, do you really think that way? As in the sense of like, when I see somebody dancing as a judge, like, I'll be like, wow, what the fuck are they wearing? Like, why? They? And I'm like, yeah. why does that matter? You know, like a little, a little voice in the back of my head is like going, why does that matter? And I'm like, you're right. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. You know, like, and it's that same. It's that same thing. It's like, it's like, I just care if they're dancing well with this other person. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And like, I, you know, for me, like, I, I am a straight white female, and I feel like overall I've led a relatively privileged life. And like, you know, I grew up in a middle class family in a not a safe city but like a safer part of town Mm -hmm. you know like i have my parents and my family and they're all healthy and safe and i've been educated and i have a job fucking stop Uh, bragging rachel i know i know right (laughs) well i'm and i only say that to say that like i there are a lot of people out there who have a lot of different situations than i do Mm -hmm. and i can't like I can't make a snap judgment based on how I feel or my perspective because my perspective isn't what really matters right now. You know, like if there if there are a lot of people out there who feel uncomfortable about the name Jack and Jill or the way that our community is established or set up with this male female uh dichotomy then like I, I, I think that that's valid, and being in the business of someone who wants to have more people in the Lindy Hop community, I think that I need to find ways to make it more welcoming to them. Sure. Le- and and I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there who don't care about that. I, or, I, or they do and they have their opinion about it but the thing is is like i, I mean yeah. i agree with you for the most part I, I, except for except for the fact that like you it does matter what you think and, and as a member of the community like that's that's the best and worst part of what's happening right now like the best part of, uh, and it being the worst part is basically this discussion is happening this debate is still 
gonna happen. It's it's not gonna end right here. But the thing yeah. is that people keep people keep saying that like it, it like a couple things that irk me that I'm like oh that doesn't make any sense uh, is that like you know when it's just like politics or uh, yeah. politically correctness or it's yeah. a band aid or it's not gonna fix anything. It's like you're all right, you're all correct. This is this is politics because this is a bunch of people with their own beliefs and their own opinions coming together. So it ends up being politics, politically correct. Sure, why not? Be correct, be offensive, whatever, be anything in the middle. It, the thing is, is someone has a problem with this and, and, and it's, it, it doesn't hurt to listen. And then yeah. and the last thing is like, is, is a Band-Aid. I'm like, okay, fine. Band-Aids help. Band-Aids help eventually. They don't help right away. You know? You know, like fucking I, singing Soft Kitty would help. Like, and, I mean, and, I, and the, I, I saw that comment and in I kind of do agree that it... I. I think that changing the name is a good first step to taking a closer look at the real issues. Yeah, of course. It's it's the same it's the same idea. It's not the end all be all and I think it's the same yeah. problem it's the same problem we had a long time ago with uh, a long time ago. I mean a couple of years ago with the with the uh, code of conducts. Yeah. It's not yeah. it's it's not going to fix anything. It's a first step in a long road of awareness and uh and change it's the first steps like everything everything is a journey and like i I hate to sound like a fucking instagram quotable little video thing but like it's the first step in a fucking thousand step journey i mean here's the thing is i i think that i i mean i think change is good change is an oh change doesn't always feel good Change isn't always easy, but this is such a small thing. Like we are not, we're not losing history by changing the name of Jack and Jill. And truth be told, like we have been Lindy hopping longer in the present day than they had been in the past, right? Like, yes. Like the revival is now longer than the original swing era. Mm-hmm. And I think. I think there's something to be said about that. Like we we're still we're still a young community and we're still paving the road for you know possibly generations to come of swing dancing. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, you you put it in a great perspective. Like again, I just sent you something, but look at it in a minute. Sorry. Oh, I looked at it right now. It's Sorry, so look cute. at look at it in a minute. Look at it in a minute because okay. it's, it's going to come to that point. Uh, so again, kind of going back to Japan, I'm always curious. Like the first time I went to Germany, I was like, so World War Two, what happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> what happened here, yeah. you guys? <laughs> so for, 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 Ger- for Germans, it's always like kind of like a different perspective. But like, it's a very interesting thing for Japanese culture because they're like, we have so many years of history. And this one little blip that lasted, you know, this much longer, like we know it's there, but we try not to focus on it. We know what happened and we yeah. feel we feel not OK with it. But the thing is, is like we focus on all this other stuff that led up to that moment and how, where we can kind of change it. And I was yeah. like, oh, OK, that's an interesting way to put it, you know, like out of out of like thousands of years, like why focus on just 50 years of it? thousands yeah. and thousands of years I, now. so like so for for, for me <coughs> for me it's like that same thing you just said like it's like look we have so much history like why not why focus on this one little thing that is inevitably going to happen at some point somebody else is going to come up with a better name or like in general yeah. like we're like cool like we're gonna come up with that it's the same thing that happened when when i, I alhc american Lindy hop championships kind of started like waning and then like a fucking rise of showdown and then like and then like we're going to do this new crazy thing called phrase battling. And I was like, that's a stupid way of doing it. It's only going to be showing off. And then look where we are like fucking 15 years later where it's like the standard. Yeah, it is the standard. Yeah. I I mean, we're, we're <laughs> creating history right now with Lindy hop. We're, I think like I would say that we're in a golden age. It's more popular to, than ever. People are, I would say more silver advanced age, yeah. than ever. Okay, silver age. Silver yeah. age. We're in a silver age. We're in a we're in a peak. We're at a peak right now. <laughs> well, I would say I would say the golden age is, is when it was created and now yeah, we're okay. like 
we're like in the silver age where we're, we're taking it different places. Yeah. I think that's, that's a good description, but like we're, we're doing things with it. We're changing the community. We're, you know, I, I don't, I, I just don't like, for me, this issue is such a non issue. Mm -hmm. Like it's a, it's a, it's a word. It's a phrase. Yeah. What if, what if the contest had originally been named like the poop in your pants contest? <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. truth absolutely. be told, like, let's think of like something absurd. Jack, Jack and Jill is a stupid, terrible name. It's a <laughs> dumb name. It's not even a good name for the contest. So why do we care about it so yeah, much? I mean, I mean, if it was poop in your pants contest, everybody would be like, "Please, let's change the name." To be, I mean, to be fair, like, like let's let's be let's be honest, because like again, going back to like the closest equivalent, which is a, a strictly. Yeah. What know, does like, that even mean? It, it, it means something. What does that mean? It means something in the ballroom world, and it's the same thing. It's like it's like a lot of the same reasons why we have the words that we have now as opposed to the words they were using back then is because yeah. basically some person decided to come in and be like, let's codify this whole thing. So like Arthur Murray codified the whole idea of rock steps and triple steps where they were just like back step, double step, back step, step and step. Like, you know, like it, they were just saying yeah. what they were doing as opposed to like codifying it and how we use it today. And then look, we are 50 years later. We're like, it's the gold standard like this. We all teach it basically the same. Um, so here's the, th here's the thing. I want to go back to this one idea. And it's the reason why I sent you that GIF is because as soon as I saw this, I was like, I know this person just posted it because they thought it was cute. But I was like, yeah. this is the perfect example of what's going on. So the, the GIF, I'm gonna, we're going to explain it to you as best as I can, is basically two dogs and two cats see a bow for the first time, a little bow, and one of the cats puts it on it's his a neck. sparkly and thinks bow. It's, thinks it's so pretty that the dog puts it on top of his head and thinks it's so pretty. And then another st every dog is every dog and cat is trying to steal it and thinking what yeah. they think what they think makes them look prettier with it or think it looks pretty. And then all they're of a sudden fighting they're over fighting over it. with it. And they look over and they see a crash and they're like, oh, there's another dog with like a bunch of fur in its face and it's getting hit all over the place and can't see anything. And, and it's and they feel so bad and they look at the bow and they're like oh, wait a minute, we could use this because someone else is having a bad time. We could take our little thing that we think is so precious and make them feel amazing about but they, it. Well, and what they do is they, all the dog can't see because there's like all this fur, fur. hanging in yeah. its face. And they use the bow to tie the fur back so now the dog can see. Yeah, and, and it's makes so it feel, happy. Yeah, it makes it feel amazing. Like it's, it's yeah. that, that I think is like the cutest way to think about this debate. Is that we yeah. all we all have? Is Brett home? Brett just got home. Hi, Brett. Mikey says hi. 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 He can't see me. Here, I I can hear you. Uh, hi. Hi. Hi, uh, Brett. Hi. Turn the computer more towards me. There we go. Hi, hi. Brett. <laughs> hi, Brett. I love you. Mikey says he loves you. <laughs> Brett says, well, he should. I mean, classic answer. Classic Brett. Brett brought me a donut home. Oh, my God. From Voodoo Donuts. Oh, uh, no. He's put a spell on it. Let's see what it is. Let's see. It's a pink donut with sprinkles on it. A little pink. Little pink is what it's called. Aww. It's very he's the, cute. He's a good husband. He's a good husband. Yeah. Anyway, but anyway, I mean, I mean, back this, to what this, you were saying. Th this gift, this gift is just like a perfect, great way to put it. It's like what we think is so precious to us, and, and, and means the world to us, and we want it, and we want to keep it for ourselves. Could actually make if we give give it over, give it over that preciousness, give it over to somebody else that's having a hard time, can yeah. make them feel worlds better, beyond and, better, you know, about themselves and, like, and about the situation. And then everybody the benefits off of it. Here's the thing that that I have been asking myself is that like if we change the name, is it gonna personally affect you? Me? Yeah, or like anyone. Like is say if you're like someone who really doesn't want it to be changed and then like all the large events change the name of it, are you personally affected by that? <laughs> Uh, like, does only, that change your life? The only the only part that it affects me is that I'll constantly have to remind myself and pr constantly have to say sorry for saying Jack and Jill. Does that yeah. make sense? Like, that's like that's yeah. the extent. And I'm like, well, I already had to go through that with 
changing from he and she to lead and follow. And, and, and I was against that at first. I'm, I'm, I'll say it, but like at, at, when I learned more and more and talked to more people and got more information, I was like, wow, this little thing can make people feel better. Yeah. Fuck, that's easy. It's going to take me some time, and I hope you guys are willing to come with me on this weird journey, but like, I will try because if, if, if it means making other people... You know I have this weird hero, superhero complex where I'm just like, I want to save the day. I will be the hero. Yeah, and I like, mean, so I, I that think, little I bit think helps, that'll help. I think it's the same thing as like calling uh, leaders, leaders in class and followers, followers, instead of guys and girls or men and women. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's just it's just making it like, you know, there are people out there who are not guys and leaders. Yeah. And, you know and vice versa. It's so funny because every every culture is a little bit different about it. So like here in Spain, I remember I was I was making a fuss about it. And I was like, guys, you should just do this because they, they they have this uh, they have this thing. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's part of their culture. It's totally fine. And this is part of the whole idea of, of moving this subculture to different cultures. Is there, they, they say chicos y chicas, which is like, you know, guy, yeah, guys, guys and, gals. and gals. Yeah, guys and gals. And, 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 and I'm like, no, you shouldn't say that. You should probably change it to just leaders and followers. They're like, but what if they don't know? That's the whole point of them being in the class. And it's like, yeah. and it's like but then I have to take time to explain it. I'm like, you're going to have to take time to explain it anyways. Because I've been in those classes, those first, uh, they call them P1 classes. Uh, yeah. Uh, primary a principal principal first time classes one they have four of those in that first class there's always w- two or three males as follows yeah because we say it and we and and they they choose yeah yeah and it's been it's been totally great and and it's it's really funny being here in madrid uh and again in japan japan like nobody shows any form of affection until nighttime when they all get drunk and then they all get super ah. loud. Super, <laughs> you've never heard a metro so quiet. Like Jeez. it made me so self-conscious. And, and then at nighttime we, we would go out and it was super loud and it was just like every other metro in the world, you know, sick, crying, making out and all this stuff. But like during the yeah. daytime, not even possible. Silence. But being, yeah. But being back in Madrid, everyone's, everyone's the way they are. And like, there's so openly gay couples everywhere here and it's yeah it's beautiful to me they're so open and, and loving and just fucking living their lives and not hurting anybody unless they hurt themselves in relationships whatever but yeah. <laughs> i mean i mean who am i to talk <laughs> oh god i hate relationships um but the thing is the thing is 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 there's they're so great about it at swing maniacs like nobody makes a fuss about it like, yeah, I, I've never seen one moment where like anybody does it. Even tonight, like I taught four classes and each class, there was always one male leader or one male follow or or a, 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 a female leader. Like, you know, yeah, doing the opposite of traditional sense. And I and I love that so much. And I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I, li- I don't I don't want to speak for anyone and I don't want to say that we have to change the name Jack and Jill. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to be that person, but like if, if everyone wants to change it or if there are people who feel like it needs to be changed because they feel uncomfortable that I am all for changing it. If someone, if someone's running an event and they're like, no, I don't want to change it. I'm going to keep it Jack and Jill. Keep it Jack and Jill. Like I don't, I don't care. Yeah. It's whatever. Like you do you. you. So, but you, but you don't, you you have an, like we talked about this a little bit before. Like I feel the same way. Like, Hey, I'm not gonna like try to sway you, but I would love to talk to uh, talk to you about it because like here's the thing is like I, I feel the same way. I'm like I, it's up to each to to their own to to help describe this dance and describe what event they're doing and, and call it whatever they want to call it. But yeah. for me, I have my opinion, and my opinion is is changing it isn't so bad. The, I don't the think goods, so bad the either. The goods outweigh the bads. Even if there is a, some on either side, whatever that are ridic- might, might be sounding ridiculous to somebody, uh, I I feel like the goods outweigh the bad. So me personally, I was like, yeah, am I gonna try to change it from for uh, the events that I help run? I am gonna try, but a lot of those decisions aren't up to me. Uh, they yeah. part they're in part up to me, and I will voice my opinion. Um, 
and, and I'll and I'll cross that bridge when, when I get there. But right right now, like if it comes down to like an event that I'm going to, I'm gonna state my opinion and I'm gonna go, hey, you do what you want to do, but I would like to talk about this with you. You know, yeah. not not to try to sway them, but to try to hear them out in a respectful way that I feel like is very much needed nowadays, uh, especially with the political climate uh, that's happening right now, yeah. where I feel people are being shut down, shut out a lot of the times. I feel right now what we can do is another step forward is just listen to each other and talk it out besides going on Facebook. Facebook is a really good starter. It's not a good mediator, though, and, and nothing will ever be talking to someone face to face. I think I think so much gets lost in translation on Facebook, which is sure, part of exactly. the reason why things get so volatile so quickly. And it's easy to, you know, hide behind your computer screen and say, you know, all of these like anger driven things and then post it on the internet, you know, like are, would all of these people who are saying this stuff say the same thing in person in front of a group of people? I don't know. I mean, I've, I've definitely back back when, back when the whole Stephen Mitchell thing came across, like I got into lots of uh, arguments because people were like, you're like, you're not listening. I'm like telling them you're not listening so I'm just going to state my opinion and, and you're stating complete bullshit right now that like, I, there's no reason for me to continue this conversation is that you're yeah. trying to sway me. And I'm just trying to say that, that you what you're, what you're saying has no uh, validity into this discussion. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. like, that's the thing is, is like, I can only say that because I feel like I'm a, I'm a decent enough listener to people when they talk. And so like, I can catch them in what they're in what they're saying and, and throw it back in their face um anyways but po- point being is, is that's 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 how i feel about it so i feel i feel very similar like hey you do yeah what you gotta do but i am wanting to talk to you about your decision yeah i mean i'm definitely supportive of anyone who wants to change it and i like i think we should find a new term for it because i don't doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. So why 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 do I care? Yeah, I know. You exactly, know? Exactly. Um, now I haven't the only I I don't like any of the terms that have been uh <laughs> suggested. I think they're all equally ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that I came up with was the scrambler, which is equally <laughs> ridiculous. But that's only <laughs> if but not that's, more so. But that's only because you were making breakfast burritos. I wasn't actually. Oh, you fucking I wasn't. Love. I, I know. Oh, breakfast burritos. I could go for one right now. Or donuts. Um, but or donuts. But I, so like, you know, I I don't think we've necessarily found a good name for it. But I don't know if we'll find anything that's better. Yeah, I think I you think know, we, like we might we have to settle for something silly. I think I think we will. But the thing is, is I think it'll it'll run into more the fact of of like how the Strictly's are. Like everyone has a different name for it. The Hell's a Boppin contest, the Partner contest, the the uh, uh, um, the person is gonna throw somebody what? else in the air and do stuff. Well, I already talked about that. Uh, Brett Brett came in and said, "Is is Jack and Jill even a good name? It's not even descriptive." <laughs> It's just the name we have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you, I mean, you want to come over here and voice your opinion? Brett's coming over. He's going to say what he thinks. Okay, give him. Give what, him do you, one, what do you give think him one, about give the whole Jack one, and Jill hey, thing? Hey, 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 give him one of your uh, earbuds. Well, I don't know if I have anything to. Uh, oh, she's giving me the headphones so I can listen to Mikey. Okay, okay, I can put them in myself. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, Mikey. Hey. Uh, I don't know if I have anything. I don't know if I have anything to contribute that Rachel hasn't already contributed. But uh, I think the bigger issue is it's it's re- it's really not about the name of a competition, right? It's about that some people do not feel as welcome into the scene as we feel we are welcoming them. Yeah, there's a disconnect there, right? We yeah. feel like we are a welcoming scene, and we're getting feedback now that. No, we're not as welcoming as we think we are. And here's an example: we have this competition, and we have these other well, things. Y- Go ahead. Y- you know, y- you're absolutely right. And and just to bring up something we we had said before, Rachel. Rachel brought up a really good story about back in Albuquerque when she would get calls from from some people saying like, "Are you gay friendly?" And and Rachel's like, "Of course." And they would get, they would come there and they would feel really insecure for some whatever reason, and then never come back. And it's just one of those things where it's like it, it's 
people seeing something and being like, I don't know, I, I shouldn't speak up. And just instead of speaking up or saying anything out loud, when they're not given a chance to, they just run away from it. And they're just like, okay. And, and that's the thing is that that's what we're now hearing about. Like someone voiced their opinion and now everybody's going, yes, I have felt that as well. And that's a good thing like that, that, that we're being aware uh, of these people having, having had these issues. And us right. being us being forced to look on on what we our decisions and, and and what we feel is the norm and going oh wait is that good? Yeah, and so the real controversy isn't that uh, people really like the name Jack and Jill, <laughs> and that's why they're angry. Yeah. No, don't take away my Jack and Jill. That's the greatest name because it's objectively not. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely not the greatest name for anything. It's just the name that we've had for a long time, and it, it's good alliteration. I'll give it that. It sounds it's easy to say, Jack exactly. and Jill, exactly. but it does. It's not very descriptive. I mean, when I first heard what a Jack and Jill was, I, well, I, when I heard the name, I was like, "What is that?" Yeah. And every single time I've said it to someone who's never heard it yeah. before, they go, "What is that?" It's not yeah. very descriptive. It's not a great name, but that's not why people are upset. They're not upset because they love the name so much. They're just there's a faction that just don't like change. Yeah. Which is fair. I get that. They don't like change. Some people just don't want to change ever. That's fine. And yeah. then there's some people that don't like to be challenged. Yeah. And they don't like to... <laughs> Rachel's pointing at me. Uh, they don't <laughs> like to be challenged in their beliefs. They don't like to be uh, thought of... Uh, they don't like to think about themselves differently. Like, yeah. they don't want to be... They don't like hearing, hey, you think you're welcoming, but you're actually not as welcoming. Yeah. And that's challenging. And some people are like, oh, you're right. Yeah. Let me think about this and ruminate with it. And then some people are like, no, and they push yeah. back and they fight with it. And, then, and that's materializing as uh, finding excuses why Jack and Jill's the greatest thing ever, yeah. the name Jack and Jill. I mean, I, I, f I feel like in the last couple of years, I, I've been kind of changing. I, I feel like but a long while back ago, uh, I would have been that person. And I still am. Like when I, I told Rachel when I first heard this, I was like, I was one of those people like, no. You know, like that but was my initial reaction. Yeah. And then I took some time and I was like thinking about it and trying to poke holes through my logic. And it was very easy to poke holes through the logic. So yeah. I was like, this is this is ridiculous. Like, let me think about this more. For sure. And and I agree. Like when I first heard people like we should change the name. And I feel like this is I mean, this Yehudi uh, opinion piece really started this conversation but i i know for a fact that this is not the first time people yeah. have oh and, absolutely. and i've heard it before and i've heard it before and i've always been like well nah, 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 nah. because yeah. again i'm like i resist change i'm like ah well yeah. it's what we have let's just let's just focus and, on other things and you know what's funny is another another argument that that uh, wasn't brought up in rick's uh rick's thing he's he has a couple things where he's uh, he followed up on on that initial post where he's like arguments for it arguments against it uh one of the things that i wish he had posted uh, i mean of course i'm always gonna have like reservations but but uh, one of the things I wish he posted was the people saying, um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> sorry. You mean he didn't post that you wish he had posted? Uh, the original Yehudi article. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. I had it in my head. Fuck. Well, maybe maybe we'll come back to you. Um, hit, it, hit it harder. That'll help. <laughs> hit your head harder. Ah! Is there someone near you that can hit you in the head? No, there's no one near me. Um, maybe that's oh, maybe shit, that's part of the problem. Shit, 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 <laughs> shit. Uh, riveting podcast right now. Riveting podcast. Uh, uh, fuck. Um, shit. I was just thinking it. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be great. What what time is it there? One forty two a.m. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, I think we can cut you a little slack. It's like four thirty in the afternoon in beautiful sunny California. <laughs> We're we're awake. <laughs> we're lively. We're Having happy. Donuts. Yeah, we're, I got donuts. I I rode my bike over here. I got like the blood pumping. That's you so are weird. like literally should be asleep right now. Yeah, usually <laughs> I've been I've been going to sleep at better hours lately. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, like to to finish up to finish up the thought is just like I thought the same thing when I first heard of Jack and Jill too. Like right. I was like the nursery rhyme. That's the first thing I was like, what the hell does that mean? So it took me time. So no matter what, like it's gonna take people time to. Um, live in this kind of new reality that we're like, okay, we need to really rethink this whole idea of, of inclusivity, I guess. Is that, sure. is that the word? I mean, yeah. you know, like it's like, it's that same thing that like, if we think we are, then we can always do better. Yeah. I mean, just like the dance is like, we think we're good, then let's do better. What's better than For good, sure. you know? So, yeah. And, and it's, it's this, the whole thing's, 
got really blown out of proportion because ultimately this is a decision that's going to be made by promoters and event organizers. They're going to be the ones who have to be like, what's best for our brand? Mm -hmm. What are our customers expecting from us? Mm -hmm. How is it going to affect us? And this discussion will play a part in that, but ultimately it's going to be up to them. And then us as consumers, we have to look at it and be like, is this event the kind of event I want to attend? Yeah. And the name of their competition is just going to be one factor. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the name of the competition was, hey, fuck you, that would, uh, <laughs> that would factor into our decision whether or not we wanted to attend an event, right? And so, But it would not be the only thing, right? We'd be like, well, this event's actually super awesome, and that's got a weird competition name, whatever. Yeah. It's the yeah, same, I mean, same thing with the Jack and Jill. Yeah, I mean, people, people fucking already do that already. I, I uh, suggested the name Poop in Your Pants. Yeah. Always great. Yeah. You uh, drop something. Or something. An October remote. It's just a remote. It's just a okay. remote. Uh, uh, so but, uh, but, but people like freaked out about it. And it's like, well, you really like, there's really no reason to freak out. Like people are going to change it. They're not going to change it. Are you, is it going to change the way you go to that event? Like that, the name change, probably not. If the event is welcoming or not welcoming, or if the event has a, a vibe to it, like that's going to be more of a factor. And this is just one uh, point of it. You'll, uh, I'll, I'll just yeah. add to say that uh, um, Camp Hollywood is run by Hillary Alexander. Hillary Alexander. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Uh, she's been a vocal proponent of changing the name. Like yeah. after this came out, she was like, yeah, let's change it. Mm -hmm. She's already gone and changed it on the Camp Hollywood website. It's changed. That's awesome. It's called Mix and Match. Great. And it says it gives credit to Jack Carey, the, the person who's... Uh, the creator. being given credit for the creator of this mm -hmm. competition format she has a whole little thing like inspired by the competition created by jack carey Perfect. and then blah 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 and you have to go like all the way down to the bottom where it'll say like in parentheses uh about the mix and match competition and then in percentage pr pr parentheses. parentheses it'll say formerly jack and jill yeah and so it's still like really clear what the competition is. Yeah. Uh, it's still the same i'm assuming basic competition same sure. rules yeah and yeah. but uh, the point is she uh she was convinced. She put her money where her mouth is, and she already did it. There's no yeah. hemming and hawing. It just happened. And you know what? I don't think it's going to uh, have any negative impact. It, it might have a small positive impact. I mostly think it's going to have no impact whatsoever. Yeah. But it was. I, she thought it was the right decision, and she owned it. I, I agree. Actually, the, the positive thing about that is that people are going to now know the history of it. Yeah, absolutely. That's definitely a, a positive. Yeah. I even I didn't know the history about. It. I yeah. had no idea what why it was called the Jack and Jill, and I didn't know who Jack Carey was. I mean, yeah. I like maybe heard his name, but I didn't know anything about him. Yeah, exactly. He's the guy from The Mask, uh, Ace Ventura, Pet you're, Detective. You're, you're thinking of uh, of uh, Jameson Kahari. <laughs> oh. oh, that's right. That yeah. guy. And and with that and what with that dick. and with that and with that loud sound, I think we're gonna bring this uh, podcast to an end. So, as Brett, since you joined us, uh, 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 bright what's your bright side? It, it could be about this subject. It could be about your day. It could be about anything. Uh, my bright side is that uh, did Rachel tell you about Blue Apron? You guys joined Blue Apron. We joined Blue Apron, and you know what? Blue Apron advertises on every single podcast Ex ever. So why ours. not this <laughs> podcast? Except we are not going to get paid for it. Oh my that's god, that's okay. We need because to, it's delicious. We need to. I get mean, there's, a, there's. I, I'm not necessarily a, a proponent of Blue Apron specifically. But this just means the one. There's a lot of companies that do this, but we happen to have Blue Apron. We, we need to. We need to get that Blue Apron money. Uh, I know, right? You should be talking to Blue Apron. That's <laughs> some sweet, sweet Blue Apron money. Hey, Anyways. hey guys. Hey, hey, Blue Apron. We're about to talk about this topic that's blowing up on the Facebooks. <laughs> <laughs> like, you literally advertise on every other podcast. It's on everyone. Where's our money, Blue Apron? Where's, Where's somebody? At least free Blue Apron, Blue yeah, Apron. I'll say any Anyways. script you want. So, but I don't, I want to, my bright side is not the Blue Apron. It's the Blue Apron wine delivery service. Oh. They have a wine delivery service and we have a box of wine that's, they keep trying to deliver to us, <laughs> uh, but we have to sign for it because they can't just leave wine at the doorstep. Because alcohol. And so I, I, uh, I don't, I, I scheduled it to go, I'm going to go pick it up. I'm going to hold it at the location and then we will have some sweet, sweet Blue Apron wine. This, I mean, that's awesome, but that sounds like too many steps. 
Well, if you're at home, you just sign for it, and then they give you wine. I think they, I think they just assume it's like, well, if you're ordering boxes of wine yeah. from Blue Apron, you'll probably be home. <laughs> if you're if you're ordering delivery alcohol, you're probably home. Yeah, probably all the time. Rachel, what's your bright side? Oh man, I mean, my bright side might be this donut over here, mm. but no, my bright side is that we finally got to record again. I've been dying for weeks to tell you all the things that have been going on in my life, and I couldn't wait to hear about Tokyo, and I'm so glad I, I get to look at your big, empty head <laughs> once more. <laughs> I feel like, I, I feel, I feel like uh, I, I, it's, it's like I'm your therapy or like journal. It's like, oh, my God, I have so much the, to write in you. The, the, bo- the podcast, a.k.a. Rachel's Journal. Yes. Dear Mikey's Diary. big, fat head. <laughs> big, fat head. And Rachel's pinhead, teeny <laughs> weeny. That that's that's our that's our spinoff of the spinoff of the spinoff show called Fat Head and Teeny Weeny. There, uh, uh, <laughs> pinhead. I was gonna say Fat Head and Pinhead. <laughs> we we don't solve crime in this one. We we we, we, don't. we 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 order Blue Apron food and then make it and then immediately serve it to Brett for uh, exactly uh, for review. Exactly. What's your bright side, boo? <laughs> Uh, my bright side is, 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 uh, is Tokyo is awesome. Yay. <laughs> and it <laughs> Tokyo g- g- is awesome. And it gave me a lot of perspective on life, uh, like kind of outward, external, pretty stuff. And then on top of that, like internal struggling that I had because it just makes me want to like figure out that society even more like that culture and yeah. even more so that this all this whole thing happened because I'm just like it's so perfect it, it's so it's like a perfect storm where it's like I'm, I'm discovering this new culture for the first time and then I'm like this culture that I'm so deeply a part of is is going through this struggle that will just be a blip in the history yeah yeah but it'll, it'll lead to so many other great things I just I really truly, truly believe uh, whether you're against it or, or for it, like I really, really, truly believe this community will continue to get better because it'll already push people to go like, well, you need to know your history. And then on top of that, it's going to be like, great, now let's make history. You know? Yeah. And so I, I feel like my bright side is that this is needed. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's not wanted, but it's definitely needed. Yay. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's the end. Okay. Check us out on Facebook. Check, uh, Facebook and on and, and iTunes. I have, I have and SoundCloud. I have a little, a little project I'm working on. Oh, you know what? Since I have both of you here, here, just, 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 uh, uh, uh k- keep, keep talking. I'll be right back. Okay. I don't. Mikey actually got up and left. I don't even know what to say about that. Well, he's gone. Uh, oh, yep. Wait. Nope. He came right back. No time to. No, 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 it's not chip. Hold on. Wait, I, so, so I got, I got you guys something from Japan. What? Yeah. No. I mean, don't be, don't Did be. Did you too, really? Yeah. Don't be too excited. It's just something I just saw I'm it and I was like. Excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just, I just saw it and I was like, I just thought about you guys. So they have like these little like traditional little like, like it's like a 3D thing and they're all like different scapes. So it's like one of them's the wave, you know, that big famous uh, painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In like a samurai and like kabuki. And I saw this one and I was like, I immediately thought of you guys. Cats! <laughs> <laughs> samurai cats. Yeah, and they're just they're just like fucking samurai chilling. Samurai rock and, and it's roll like a, cats. It's like a it's like a three D thing that you got to kind of put together a little bit. But it's oh like oh my I, god. I'm gonna retract my earlier statement. They are not samurai. They're just Japanese cats. That's racist. <laughs> Not They're all <laughs> Japanese are samurai, and I know that now. Yeah, <laughs> some of them are ninja. Oh, uh, thank you, Mikey. That's <laughs> yeah. very yeah. nice so of you. So you guys will be getting that in August when I return. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to you have to take a picture and post it on the Facebook so people can see it. I I will I will I just I I I immediately saw it and I was like you know what Rachel and Brett would fucking dig this and I was like I'm gonna oh. buy it. It was like 7,000 yen. Oh, squishy feelings that's inside. Is that a lot? That's like a year's wages. <laughs> I'm a salary man. It's fine. 
Uh, salary man is what they have in, in Japan. Um, yes, you can find us on Facebook and iTunes and, and SoundCloud. And I'm working on another one. Another one what? I'm going to post it on the YouTubes. Post what? All the all the videos. Oh, sorry, all the sound. I'm just going to oh. overlay them over oh, really? video of like our picture and just have the title of what the episode is and then <gasps> just post it up we there. Sh- so. Well, we, we need to do a vlog at some point. Where uh, where we can like see each other th- talking. Yeah, we'll, we'll, next time we're 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 together. Maybe the the, the first one where we go come back together, we'll, we'll face uh, uh, Facebook live it. Oh yeah. And then and then we'll uh, we'll save it and then post it up there as well. Cool. Right. That sounds great. Brett, thank you for storming. I mean, joining us today. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Rachel. Always, tis a pleasure, as t- always. Tis a pleasure. <laughs> tis a pleasure. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, and as always, bye. bye. That was Garbaggio. I hate you guys are together over there. Ooh.